The following are examples of the common applications of GLOBE's integrated harness on the fire ground. One of the toughest situations firefighters will encounter on the fire ground is a downed firefighter needing removal upstairs. The integrated harness can be used to encompass the SCBA straps of the downed firefighter by capturing both the left and right shoulder strap. While this is being done, a second firefighter can take his carabiner from his integrated harness and encompass both of the SCBA straps to the rear of the firefighter that is down. When this is completed, the first firefighter will begin to drag while the second begins to push. Using the integrated harness allows the firefighter that's doing the pulling at the top to use his leg muscles and keeps his hands free so that maneuverability up stairwells and down hallways is extremely easy rather than bending over and always the possibility of a back injury would confront itself. In a high heat situation, the length of the harness will allow the firefighter to remain crawling so that he can drag the firefighter in distress to the point where exit will occur. When firefighters reach the objective for removal out of a second floor window, you will see the firefighters that use the harness systems to drag him to that particular location will now assess and ready him for removal using a two to one mechanical advantage out the window. The same two SCBA straps that were accessed to drag the firefighter are now used to lower him. Once the firefighter is in position to be lowered out of the window, firefighters will assist in getting him out. Firefighters on the ground will then assist with the process of lowering. As you will see, the harness continues to hold the SCBA in place as the firefighter is lowered down from the window. Another situation that firefighters confront on the fire ground is that where a firefighter has fallen through a hole in the floor. This situation is extremely labor intensive and will take many firefighters to accomplish the removal when the stairs are no longer an option. As a rescue firefighter makes his way down to the individual that's fallen through the floor, his first thoughts are to approach and see if they are conscious and alert. Once they have diagnosed that the firefighter is unresponsive, they will then use the firefighter's harness as a removal tool. This is done by disconnecting it from its storage position, sliding up underneath the individual's protective jacket where the carabiner will come through the coat at the neckline. You may have to unzip the jacket slightly to access. He will then remove the carabiner and access a hose in this situation to remove the downed firefighter. Once the firefighter has been hooked into the hose line, other firefighters at the top of the hole will then begin to pull. During this process, you will notice that the harness is keeping the firefighter vertical and allowing them the ability to pull him from the floor. The firefighters at the top of the hole will then grab on to the firefighter coming through the hole's shoulder straps, which are hooked into his harness, and will allow them the ability to pull him from below the grade. When firefighters are searching for a downed or distressed firefighter, the harness allows them the option to make it easy for removal by simply converting their harness into a mechanical advantage system. This can be done by securing the downed firefighter's harness to his SCBA straps located on the front which ties his SCBA 
into his harness system. Next, the firefighter that will be performing the removal will then deploy his rope and encompass one of the SCBA straps with a carabiner. He will run his strap through the carabiner and then back on to his integrated harness carabiner. This in turn will create a mechanical advantage of two to one, allowing simple removal across a flat surface. When a firefighter confronts and finds a downed firefighter during his normal operational duties, one of the easiest ways to remove him is to use their DRD, which is located within their coat. As a firefighter locates the DRD behind his SCBA bottle, he would then deploy his drag rescue device and then hook that device into his integrated harness system. As long as conditions are tenable, Whereas temperatures are not too high, he could then assume a crouched position and pull that firefighter back out of the residence or building using a semi-standing position. When a firefighter locates a downed firefighter, in a high heat situation. He would be allowed with the integrated harness to keep himself in a lower profile when temperatures are extreme. Once again, he would deploy his DRD on the member that is down, hook into his integrated harness system, but instead of performing his removal in an upright position, he would then rotate his leg up and over the drag rescue device after hooking in his carabiner and maintaining a low crawling or crabbing position for removal. This allows the member to stay low under extreme heat conditions. The last part of utilization of the harness system is restoration to its original position. This is done by re-snapping the large carabiner to the belt and then storing the Velcro loop on the waistline. When the firefighter has completed operations using his integral harness, the next process would be to relax the leg loops encompassed within their pants. This would be done by a simple squat method. Any additional adjustments would need to be made after.